have a few moments. Now is the best time to collect supplies. I guess since we're all hanging around, we can talk about the stuff. How are you guys? Feel like the a cup of tea. How do you feel? That was an easy one. Thanks for taking care of it. But hey, there's nothing wrong with failure. It's what comes after. If you refuse to give up, eventually you will succeed. Everyone's there to support each other. And one way or another, we managed to get by. It's a pretty amazing thing. Don't you think, Gil? Gil, you... You know you have to finish it. Please, Gil. I, I'm begging you. Do it. G kill me. Kate. Well, that was something. Oh, hey, Kata.
until you're back home. That mission was a success. Mission accomplished. <laughs> it's been ages since we had the time to grab a drink like this. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, far too long, Haru. So, what do you think of your new team? They're all right. I'm not so great at dealing with the kids, though. <laughs> Man, I never thought I'd hear that from you. Sounds like you're getting old, Gil. Uh, Haru... Uh... So, uh, how about your... vice-captain? Seems a pretty interesting god-eater. Or so I hear. Eh? Yeah, seems really kind, you know? Though, definitely a bit strange. Somehow manages to always stay positive. <sighs> that sounds kind of like Kate. Everybody's best friend. Willing to take on any challenge. Yeah, that's true. I, uh... Well, one time I, I kind of lectured the kid a bit. Why'd you do that? You were always the same way with Kate. Didn't work then, either. Not that she'd ever listen to me. For all her bright smiles and positivity, she was definitely stubborn. I missed that about her. Everything will work out, Gil. Just keep looking forward. We've never had enough manpower here. That just means we all need to pitch in and do what we can. Gil, take a breath and really think about it. We're out there protecting people every day. <laughs> In a world like this, that means something. Kate, I won't just lay down and take this crap. The politicians give us nothing but excuses. We need God-eaters here in Glasgow just as much as the damn Far East. Hey, don't go bad-mouthing my home. <laughs> I wasn't. They need more arcs on the ground. Because of them, we can almost live our lives in peace. We're lucky. Maybe, but they're still wasting resources over there. What about the Aegis Project? It was a total disaster. That's true. It's too bad, really. It seemed like such a good plan, at the time. Those choices aren't meant for God-eaters, Gil. But hey, there's nothing wrong with failure. It's what comes after. If you refuse to give up, eventually you will succeed. We have a really good job. We're working hard to keep the innocents alive. And Fenrir's working hard to keep us alive. We should be proud. Everyone's there to support each other. And... One way or another, we managed to get by. It's a pretty amazing thing, don't you think, Gil? I... I'm just trying to look out for you. To protect you and Haru. And... Look... You're stubborn. Both of you are. If you refuse to retire and have a real life... At least I want you two to be happy together. sweet sometimes you know that <sighs> fine i will talk to the director for you and see if we can't get some more people but look you have to promise me you will stay out of it <sighs> fine fantastic <laughs> that's what i like to hear gil hey cheer up all right let me see that beautiful smile. Dude, Gil, come on, bro. Don't be flirting with my lady. I'm laying right here. <laughs> Have some standards. Whoa, I'm not. Tell her, not me. I'm just... It really makes me wonder sometimes. Why the best of us have to fall so young? Haru... Back then... I... Uh-uh, no, no, stop right there. No more about the past. You know what Kate would say. Keep looking forward. Isn't that right, Gil? 
Yeah. Well, this was something. So I called the FBI on him. Aloha, guys, and welcome to a new episode of. Gadidal Twilight And I guess we have to do Masa Hey! How you doing, Vice Captain? Mind if I take a seat? Relax, I'm not gonna get all flirty with you. Gil told me what happened during the mission out in the wastes. About the red rain and you jumping into a beat up God Ark soldier to go save your friend? It's crazy. <laughs> you take everything in stride. That's nice. Look, I... I came to talk about Gil. I'm betting he hasn't said much about himself, huh? Plus, I bet you're aching to know what happened back in Scotland. <laughs> Thought so. Now then, where to start? The Glasgow branch is small. I mean, like, tiny. There were only three God Eaters stationed there. Gil and I, of course, and the third was our team's captain. Her name was Kate. Kate Lawry. She, uh, she was my fiance. There weren't a ton of origami attacks out there, so the three of us managed just fine most days. A routine mission came up on the board and well, it should have been routine. I'm gonna be straight with you. This is about to get kinda heavy. Do you want me to keep going? Okay, well... <sighs> During that operation, Gil was forced into a really bad position. He... He had to kill Kate. There was no other option. He was found not guilty at the tribunal, but people still talk, you know? That's where he got his little nickname, Fragging Gill. Cowards. As if any of them had the right to call him that. As if they had the right to blame him. Anyways, back to the story. We played the fight like normal. Kate and Gill paired up as the advance and I circled around the flank. That's when it appeared. Kill! Oh no, I know this guy. And he's a red one. Haru, we need you here now. This origami, it's... a new species. It's... too strong! Can you hear me, Haru? Please, just hurry! I hear you. I'm on my way now. Just, just hold on, alright? Got it. 
away from it! Just... just focus on healing. I'll hold it off. Kate, your armlet... it's corroding! I'll be fine! Gil... You have to get out of here, all right? Leave this monster to me! I'll hold it back! Sorry. It's too... too corroded. It's almost dust, Gil. The Aragami infection has already begun. I can feel it. Gil... You... you know you have to... do it. I won't! We... we can still get back. I, I don't... I don't think so. Gil... I'm sorry. You have to tell him. Look... No. Don't make me. I'm sorry. I know I'm, I'm just being selfish. I never meant to, meant to leave you. You have to do this, Gil. I don't want to hurt you. I won't let myself hurt you. Please, Gil. I, I'm begging you. Do it. C kill me. I made it there. It was too late. Kate was already long gone. Blood stained the ground. The fabric of her clothes crushed deep into the dirt and the stone. Gil was clutching her armlet to his chest. He, he wouldn't look at me and he, he was crying. Sorry to be so dark. <sighs> That's enough for today, yeah? You're a good listener, you know? With such a serious look, it's easy to open up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Gil can see that honesty in your eyes. You know? Maybe. It even reminds him of Kate. Well, enough of that, right? Today was pretty good. Let's have another drink sometime. See ya. That piece was something. Yep, I'm ready for the mission. 